Hey, hey there. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, look, if you have, you know, stumbled across this channel before and you're like, okay, so <laughs> exactly what does she do? Well, this is the video where I am spelling this out. Okay. Now, many years ago when I first started my YouTube channel, I just started posting. Like, I don't know how this thing worked, <laughs> but I have learned and I am learning that the best way to, um, to leverage the platform is to let people know exactly how it is that I serve. And so that's what this video is going to, uh, it's going to do. It's going to let you know who I am and how I serve. So um, the first thing I can tell you is I don't edit my videos. Okay. Um, I am not at that point where I am editing. Um, I struggle with perfectionism and that is just something I'm not looking to go back to. So what you see is what you get. Um, I try to show up live and in person and in living color as often as possible. Um, and so let me tell you a little bit about Kelly. All right. Just Kelly. So just Kelly is a lifestyle management coach who serves primarily women. I serve women who are of faith, looking to live holistic lives, serving their husbands and their families, their children. Some are single and seeking to be married, but uh, we are a group, myself included, of women who are looking to serve God through every single area of our life. And we are also entrepreneurs. Okay, So I am a life coach and a business coach to these women. I am um, very invested in things that add value to life, encourage people to uh, to live the life that God has called for them to live, to walk in purpose, walk in their assignment, um, and do everything, again, in a way that honors God. So the videos on this channel speak to those areas, all right? So I primarily talk about things related to faith, okay? I am a uh, in leadership at my church, I am very involved in ministry myself, and I was raised in faith and pursue God with everything in me. One of my uh, foundational scriptures is Matthew 6, 33, where I am seeking God first. I am seeking him above everything and that everything will be added unto me as a result of my seeking his face and not his hand. And so um, I speak of matters around faith. And actually on Tuesdays and Thursdays on this channel, um, First thing in the morning, I go live at 545 for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes sometimes. And I pray, we pray. I say we, um, whoever is able to join live, we pray during that time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's something um, I've been doing for quite some time, but I started adding it to YouTube just a few years ago or just last year, actually. Okay. So uh, I pray and I, I relate everything I talk about to the word of God. So if I'm talking about business, I'm, I'm relating to the word of God. If I'm talking about marriage, relating to the word of God, motherhood, relating to the word of God. Okay. So I talk about faith. I talk about my family. Okay. I am a bonus mom, a bio mom. I'm a wife. We, me and my husband, Ezel, we have 10 children. Okay. He had four, I had four, and then we had two, affectionately known as the Z's. We have a son and a daughter um, called the Z's. So when you hear us talking about the Z's, we're talking about the two that live at home with us. The other ones are gone, grown, college, married, babies, okay? We're grandparents, okay? <laughs> so I have many years of parenting experience. Um, the time that this video is being recorded, um, I have my oldest daughter will be turning 30. So uh, listen, listen, and I know, I know I don't look that old um, and I'm not, but I was a teen mom. So you will hear me talk about stories about being, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say reminiscing like it's a good thing, but recalling some moments in my life, in my past. Uh, where God has brought me from being this teen mom, this single mom struggling and all the things to where God has me now. All right. Um, side note, another thing about me is I keep my little handy dandy. They're not paying me, so I'm not showing you the label here, but I keep it nearby and I oftentimes refresh. Okay. <laughs> what you see is what you get. <laughs> 
Um, so I talk about my family. Um, love, love my family. Uh, love my family. My husband and I, we actually have uh, a few businesses. And so on occasion, when I talk about entrepreneurship and business, I will reference not only my coaching business um, and the community that I'm a part of and that I've developed and am looking to continue growing. But I also talk about the other areas of business that my husband and I are in. I talk about um um, my past businesses. All right. Okay. So family, faith, family. I talk about finances. Okay. As you just heard me say, listen, I wasn't just on the struggle bus. So once upon a time in my finances, I was driving it. I was backing it up. I was parking it. I was <laughs> navigating, like I was doing all the things on the struggle bus. So, um, like I said, the Lord has brought me a mighty long way, um, over the last, uh, five or six, seven years, my husband and I have really done well in business. We have also made some mistakes. And last year, I talk about this too, a, some, a series of very costly mistakes for us and our business and our finances. But I talk about things related to finances, how we can achieve this uh, this desirable life without breaking the bank and being good stewards over how we manage the resources God has given us. I talk about finances, of course, in the context of business, but in our personal lives. Listen, I was a single mom. So, so you know, there are some things that are like in me, in me and learning how to be frugal, but like not outlandish is something that I'm a proponent of. Like I'm not grand. I don't do all the labels. I will say this and I, I talk about this. I do like a nice vehicle just because I was a single mom. And I mean, is it just me or how many of you out there have been in a place with your vehicle where like you would start it up and before you even start it up, like you're praying all the way there. Oh Lord, please let this vehicle start. Please let this car start. Please let this van start. Please let this truck. Like God, please. Oh Lord, please. I've been there. So I like a reliable vehicle. Okay. And so I do have a nice vehicle, but I'm not into name brands and purses and stuff like that. I'm not into that. Okay. Um, and there's a reason why, like God wants us to live a good life, but I, I, I live a lifestyle, uh, that I am content with, but like I talk about being rich because I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing. I believe that God has created us and put us here on the earth, not just for ourselves, but for others to be a blessing. So yes, we don't talk about money, but we're going to talk about it in a way that honors God without you know, us being highlighted as selfish and all the things. All righty. Um, another thing I, I, as it relates to money um, and being blessed to be a blessing, I have, uh, it's not like official, but it's just something I've always done for many years. I give back to parents, especially moms that are under the age of 24. It's just this whole history I have with having children and being broke. But I know what the needs are. And so I've got a, I, like, I don't know what you call it. It's not like a ministry, but this initiative where each month we pick a city and we donate money to their diaper bank or an organization that helps with the needs of infants and children. So diapers and then for their moms, like personal personal care items and things like that. So I do do that. OK, so if you're on the prayers, uh, if you know, if I happen to go live and I'm talking about it occasionally and you know what, as a matter of fact, because I need StreamYard, I'm going to show you this is what you will see go across the screen for now. OK, the diaper donations. OK, so I do do that. And each month we pick a city and uh, donate to, you know, that city's community in need. OK, <laughs> all right. OK, so I talk about faith, family, finances and fitness. OK, so. Again, not trying to toot my own horn, but once upon a time, I was a bodybuilder. And so I have this build and I like working out. I like being fit. I like walking. I like going to the gym. Um, and I'm real unassuming because like I wear like big sweats, right? Nobody knows what's up under those sweats because I'm holy and I like to keep it modest. <laughs> But I also like to be fit. So I talk about our fitness. I'm on this thing where I'm 
drinking water like and I can't drink cold water. I don't like it, but I will drink hot water with lemon. And so that's what I've been doing. And I just recently bought side note here. I also tell a lot of stories. OK, <laughs> I just recently bought a tea kettle, an electric tea kettle. Like what was I waiting on? Like they have been around for so long. Why did I sit on that? Because I just keep that tea kettle filled up and keep the water in there and I have access to my hot water at all times. Oh my goodness. So it's been such a blessing to me, but um, yes, I talk about fitness. I talk about eating, right? I talk about moving our bodies and I want to tell you, and I don't have any scriptures off the top of my head. Um, I have a sister coach, uh, that you will hear me refer to coach T. She is my health lady and she, uh, knows all the scriptures about, you know, what God says about our bodies. But I do believe that, you know, our bodies are where the temple of the Holy spirit are housed. And we, you know, it's, it's our responsibility to keep the temple clean, to keep the temple functioning, to keep the temple moving, to keep the temple free from fat and salt and sugar and cholesterol. OK, and so you will oftentimes hear me speak about things related to how we eat and how we live our lives so that we can be better for those that we are called to. And listen, I don't know about you, but sometimes some of this prayer warrior work, man, like, have you ever prayed and like prayed so hard that afterwards you're like, this was a whole ab workout? OK, <laughs> well, I have. And that's why I talk about fitness. OK. All right. So I talk about those things. And then I also especially now it started in the context of business. But I have discovered that my secret to success or the secret to the success in my family, in my business, in my marriage, in my motherhood. So marriage, ministry, motherhood, and marketplace. Okay? I have found that the secrets to my success revolve around these five things, which I also often talk about. And these five things are called my lifestyle management matrix, right? So this is a, um, a, a not format, not formula, Y'all see, this is what happens when you go live and like the words escape you. That's that's the older Kelly talking right now. Um, <laughs> framework. Oh, how did I ever get that? OK. Who Jesus. Framework. All right. So that's the framework that I come from a lot. The lens I come from a lot. And so those things consist of content. Either we're creating it or we're consuming it. But either way, content is a big part of our life. Content, the community that we're around, whether you're creating it or you're a part of it, how effective you participate in community will impact your life. The third component of this framework, okay, the lifestyle management matrix is a conversation and what comes out of our mouths and who it is that we're talking to and the types of conversations that we are having. The next part of the framework is conversions. So, so in convert in business, we can talk about conversions looking like money, right? So you go from this one place to the next. How did you convert somebody who came on your social media to being a client? You will hear me talk about that a lot, but you will also hear me talk about that um, as it relates to other areas. So conversion, what does it look like to have a revelation from God and now you have your heart has turned or your perspective or your mindset has shifted because of this revelation? And so that's the conversion, kind of like Paul was converted. Right. Remember on that road to Damascus, there was a moment of conversion. So that is a huge piece of this lifestyle management framework. And then the last piece is the continuity or the continuity continuous, you fill in the blank. So again, in business, and I talk about this extensively in business, but in business continuity looks like, okay, how do you keep the machine rolling? I happen to have a membership community. And so how does that look? People either will invest in this community uh, yearly or monthly. And so there is a 
amount that comes in continually. But what does continuity look like, let's say, in motherhood? So continuity could look like you set up systems and now you've got this way of doing things for your family that works. Listen, and let me just be real, like my husband and I and my sisters, we talked about this. Uh, our family, and it comes from my upbringing, we have a way of loading the dishwasher, right? I do it. My sisters, all do, we all do it the same. All of our children load the dishwasher the same. That is the continuity of dishwasher management, of kitchen management, okay? Kitchen system management. <laughs> So I'm kind of just being funny there, but you get the idea. Alrighty. So that's the other piece to the formula. All right. Let me, and so, and I also, oftentimes you'll hear me say, let me look, you'll see me look down. You'll get all of this because I look at notes. I take notes and I, I mean, I don't have the whole setup like some of these other influencers. I have my iPad next to me. And so look, I gotta look down so I can read, right? <laughs> But um, yeah, so that's what I talk about, lifestyle management and issues that affect us in our walk with God, issues um, and concerns, um, and not just concerns, but celebrations in our marriages, in our everyday life, how we serve in ministry at our churches, and how we grow our wealth and be influencers in the sphere that we are called to, the mountains that we are called to, even in business. All right. And our money making endeavors. I think, listen, this was all God's idea. I just wait until the videos start coming. You will see it was all God's idea. Everything. All right. Well, OK, so not everything. And if it wasn't his idea, you best believe I'm going to mean, I'm going to bring that up as well. But uh, so that's who I am. That's how I serve. Those are the types of videos that you will see on this channel. And so I invite you to stick around. Um, do I have a regular schedule? Well, right now, the regular schedule looks like every Tuesday and Thursday, I have a live stream. And I'm thinking that I will um, have a video at least once a week. Either it will be myself giving some revelation that God gave me and I wanted to I want to teach you all. I want to talk to you about it. I will also have interviews because who wants to look at me talk for 20 or 30 or 45 minutes in some cases, right? Who wants to just hear me talk? <laughs> so I will have interviews with uh, some great experts that are into the health and wellness and family arenas and the faith arenas and the different areas that concern women like us, right? And let me bring that up right now. Um, I, I just want to say, let me, here's another thing that you'll see me pull up and hold up often. If you don't, if you see my hands and they're like oily, that's because your girl keeps my oil. OK, I keeps my oil on the nearby. All right. Um, either I'll be here or I'll be in my kitchen or some other space in my house. But I really try to keep this casual. Um, I'm just Kelly. I, I mean, yes, I'm a business owner. Yes, I um, serve a lot of people. Yes, I do these things, but I am just Kelly. I am, I'm not reducing who God has called and created me to be, but I'm not, you know, I'm not setting myself up on the, the pedestal. I'll allow for him to do that. So I'm just Kelly. I'm nothing more, nothing less. Um, I also get sidetracked easily because I was about to say something and I totally got sidetracked, but it's all good. So um, anyways, thank you all so much. If you've made it this far, then you are my peoples. Um, but stay tuned for more videos. I'm not sure of the schedule other than Tuesday and Thursday, if I can be honest. Um, I, I prefer to go live. I like doing things on the spot and in real time so that you can see I'm human. <laughs> I'm human. I have nothing fabricated. I do. Look, look, look. I take notes. I don't know if you can see it because of the lighting, but See, I take notes about things I have to say, but I'm human. But you can also get to see what God says to me in real time. Oh, I'm also prophetic. Yeah, so he he does speak to me and I release words. And um, so, what I, you know, I, I just, I just, when God says do it, I do it. I do it. I was a whole hot mess back in my early days. Ooh, I've got stories. And I'm beyond that. And I just want to please him. And I want to do what he says do when he says do it. And 
as long as you see me show up. So thank you so much. Be sure to uh, spread the word if there's somebody that wants to learn how to manage their time better or somebody who is looking to uh, better align themselves with God and principles of God or somebody who is just looking to reduce stress and uh, not feel burned out and feel like they're on the cycles. This this is this is the channel. OK, so uh, thanks again. You're my peoples. If you've made it this far, I encourage if you aren't subscribed to go ahead and subscribe. I don't have the little ding ding, you know, the little YouTube ding. I don't have that. <laughs> I don't have that right now. Maybe one day, but today I don't. Um, but go ahead and subscribe and just stay tuned. Alrighty. Oh, also make sure that you comment and like and just, you know, let me know. I want to see I'm, I'm real in touch with um, the people. I don't have anybody doing my um, communications for me. I do it all. So um, and not like in a I can do it all way. No, but at this point, I'm a one woman show. And so I check out the comments and I respond as I can. So anyways, um, thank you all so much again um, for hopping in here and catching this video. And I just look forward to serving you all at high and excellent levels, the best that I can with the with, you know, with what I'm able to in, in this moment. And as God, you know, is ready for me and knows that I can handle the elevation, I look forward forward to one day maybe having the studio and the lighting and all of the things that will make my YouTube presence better. But right now, if you got what you got, <laughs> you get what you got. And we're going to roll with the punches. So blessings to you all. Have an amazing rest of your day. And I look forward to serving you guys. So take care. Adios.